policy change for the further education sector means that all 16-year-olds who have not achieved a GCSE in Maths or English at Grade A Star to C while they're at school need to have the opportunity to continue to study the GCSE with the name of achieving it at Grade A Star to C when they're at college. And this has become part of what's known as a study programme or programmes of study for students. And also next year will become a condition of funding for the colleges. And what this has done is provided a huge challenge in terms of the development of the workforce who obviously over the last however many years have been teaching functional skills and not GCSE. So there's going to be a huge increase in the number of students who need to be going through GCSE programmes, which has a corresponding uh, impact on the workforce. So what we've been doing in maths and English is uh, we've developed what we call enhancement courses for teachers. And the idea of the enhancement course in both maths and English is to, uh, to, to give teachers of functional skills the confidence to teach GCSE, to enhance their subject knowledge because obviously the syllabus for uh, the functional skills is different to what the syllabus for GCSE will be. So for example in maths one of the uh, topics that they would cover in the enhancement program would be geometry and trigonometry, another might be algebra. So it is upskilling those teachers who perhaps have not dealt with those topics for some years to give them the confidence and also some pedagogic techniques to be able to teach or to be confident to teach GCSE. The maths program so far has engaged about 2,200 teachers. It has also engaged teachers from not just colleges but from independent training providers and from adult and community learning settings. What has come out of it, I think, is a very powerful message, is that maths teachers have been able to spend time focusing on maths. And they've been able to spend time with other maths teachers who are in a similar situation to themselves. But also there is a group of teachers who cannot access that course yet because they, uh, they don't have sufficient confidence in their mathematical ability. So we need to uh, put some provision in at that level to try and support people and reinforce their learning, their prior learning, their, their, their knowledge. And that's where the Excellence Gateway comes into it because there are so many resources on there that can support teachers in their own research and in their own self-improvement to then be confident to join a Maths Enhancement Programme.